I got involved in having the media talk about postpartum depression because I faced postpartum mainly on my own. I looked through all the books on postpartum care and pregnant women and I found nothing on postpartum depression. So I felt like I was the only one in the world who had postpartum depression and nobody else was even just maybe blue and I couldn't forgive myself for being depressed after being given the beautiful gift of a baby. Congress has a moral obligation to women and their families across the whole country to provide more research to determine the full extent of this public health crisis. More education, screening, treatment and support to avoid needless suffering. It will take a federal mandate to do that effectively. Because I talked to mothers in the 24 years I've been talking about it, mm -hmm. and they said they didn't know to watch their daughter or their wife 24-7 right. Right. because they didn't know that they thought a baby's a happy thing, she'll snap out of it. They sure. didn't know the difference between postpartum depression, postpartum... Uh, or the baby blues or, or what the difference is. postpartum psychosis. There's right. three of them. Right. And they didn't know, and I thought, how can we not know that? People come up and they whisper to me, I had postpartum depression, or my aunt had postpartum depression. And they whispered to me like it was something wrong, there was something wrong with it. When the fact is that you're just physically ill and it takes a mental form. One thing that really led me to uh, start telling my story was realizing I really wasn't alone. And the only reason that it hit me, I knew I wasn't alone. I knew I wasn't the first one or the last, unfortunately, that had experienced it. But it was this thing on the radio that Mary Jo Cody had gone, uh, had experienced postpartum depression. And I remember hearing it, I just started crying in the car. I just felt like such relief, which is horrible to say, but at the same time I felt, now I know I'm not alone, and there's no reason for me to have shame. And really I felt, if this happened to me, I really have to help other women not experience what I went through. One of the worst aspects of PPD is that it strikes at a time when you expect to be overjoyed. When you aren't, you feel shame, guilt, inadequacy, and isolation. No matter how much support you receive from those around you, you lose touch with them and with yourself. You fail to bond with your baby. You can't function. And you have no idea what's happening or where to turn for help. Well, I feel like that you know, it's something that has to come out of the closet and the time is right now for it to be talked about and to, be, to educate doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals about postpartum depression. Because really not a lot is known about its care and its treatment.